world over as a singing sensation. But how is Larnell Harris back home? Coming up, Mitzi Harris gives a rare glimpse into marriage to a superstar. Today I'm James Robinson. Betty joins me and we're talking about 10 Essentials. I've got to show you this tape uh, album because it contains eight cassette tapes, 10 Essentials for Meaningful Relationships. And I want to tell you some of the areas that we deal with when we talk about 10 Essentials. We've got husband and wife relationship. It's so critical. How to keep the lines of communication open. Get the statics off the line. You don't want to talk on a phone or you got too much static to understand what's being said. You've got to clear the static in the life. Healing damaged relationships. Most people, Betty, have had damage in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Our relationship was damaged. It was damaged by, by the error of my ways. You know, I think you were just about perfect. No. Were you? No. Well, I <laughs> thought you were pretty near perfect, but I wasn't. And the relationships can be damaged. And how does God heal that? He can, and we need it. And don't say it's hopeless. It's not. Uh, developing intimacy. We're talking about more than sexuality when we talk about this in relationship, but that can be a part of it. It ought to be a joy. God created it. Wasn't a bad idea. Good idea. Right? right. Good idea. Good right. idea. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> See? See how this tape series will help you? <laughs> Stop living in separate worlds under the same roof. Many are doing that. Parent-child relationship. Bridging the gap between you and your children. Friendship. Building meaningful and honest relationships with friends. What about in the workplace? Earning respect and expressing appreciation. Anybody in the workplace wants to feel like they're valued. They've got to feel that way. What about sibling relationship? I'll give you a key. Learning to put others first. Try that on for brothers and sisters. See what it does to the relationship. What about in a church or community, a family? Living in unity and peace among others, especially if you're a Christian among believers. Discovering your purpose in life. That's a part of how you live with a meaningful relationship. Well, to help us talk about it is one of the most gifted singers and communicators in the whole world. Larnell Harris is here. Do you think Larnell's a great singer? <laughs> He's here. Well, Sandy Patty could not join him, so I'm going to sing with him a little later. You think that's a good idea? <laughs> Boy, you sorry. talk about it. Honey, me, help me, please, darling. But I, you know. But do you agree with him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I won't sing with him. His wife is here, Mitzi Harris. Would you welcome Mitzi? Ron <laughs> Al and Mitzi Harris. Ron Al, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. And are you relieved that this audience uh, has discouraged any thought of me singing with you? I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Well, I'm telling you, you and Sandy, don't you have a, you've got a book coming out and Sandy's That's and you right. do a song? Uh, uh, Jay Countryman is coming out with a nice little piece that will go on your coffee table and our gifts that you can give away. So writing is uh, all about a song that we did, um, Sandy and I did some few years ago called I've, I've Just Seen Jesus. I know that he's alive, <laughs> and uh, it is indeed. And uh, we're very excited about that. Well, now, this is a new uh, CD, is that That's right? right. And it is called First Love. First Lionel, Love. First Love. It's right. out in the bookstore. That's you right. You can get it anywhere that That's you can right. get good music. It's there, and I would encourage all of you to get it. Now, Mitzi, what's it like to live with a guy that's a pretty well known, a pretty good singer? You know, I mean, do you like to hear him sing? By the way, love to hear him sing. Because my wife didn't want to hear me sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love to hear him sing. Uh, we play his music around the house from time to time with other uh, artists, of course. But uh, great singer, but he doesn't do much singing at home. He's that easy fun to live with. Great person to live with. Great what person. makes him fun to live with? Because so many people <laughs> say we don't have very good relationships. And I got to tell you, Mitzi, we hear this when I say by the thousands every month, and and I'm, I must be honest, we hear it so often from women who just long to have somebody really care about them, really love them, really feel like that that they understand their heart and care about their heart and their feelings. And so many women feel like 
You know, you can't believe how many letters we get from women who say, mm -hmm. my husband left me for another woman. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the sad, a younger woman. And, and that's so sad. It's like a woman's just sort of been thrown on, uh, as far as the man's concerned, some scrap heap or something. You know, it, it's really sad. So what, what makes it special with, with Larnell? Well, we, have a, we made a commitment a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and that commitment was we were going to work it out. Any problems had to be worked out because we don't have the option of divorce. It's not a part of our vocabulary. So I mean, does that just mean hang in there till the no, better end? Or? No, it means that we're going to work it out. We're going to talk about it. We're going to find out what the problem is, and we're going to eliminate you it. You made that commitment because you loved each because other, because and you we said we're going to make it work. And it's important. It's important. I mean, because people feel today that they can easily sever, you know, if it doesn't go right, then we, we walk away. That's not a commitment. The commitment is, is here, we're here for, together for life. So by the fact you made that commitment, did you have some feeling, either through observation or just a sensible awareness that there would probably be some difficult and stressful occasions? Oh yes, uh, all of those, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, watching others, you know, you see that there are problems. Uh, friends left and right are divorcing, you know, some of them are not together anymore. Uh, we did not want that for our family or, or for our marriage. We wanted, to st we wanted to stay together. And that took work. That takes work, constant work. It's not just something, you know, you can settle it today and it's fixed for the rest of our lives. It's not. Lornell, when you were on a few months ago on mm -hmm. our program, and I got the strong feeling, we just lightly touched this, but you were talking about your, your family, your wife, and, and especially your, your children and your relationship with them. And I, I got the impression, and as I do here tonight, that that is far above the gift God's given you to sing, to go out and to share. You know, I found out a long time ago, uh, and we did, that, that uh, my kids don't care anything at all about Grammys and Doves and awards <laughs> and, and all that kind of stuff. I tell you what they, what they did care about. They cared about whether I was at the next football game or the next soccer game. And um, uh, boy, I, 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 it is, I can't tell you how I would feel if I was sitting here talking to these folks and talking to you, telling them about the grace and love of a, uh, of a God who we say can work out, work, work out every situation in, in all of our lives and have missed my children's growing up or be in a relationship that I wasn't supposed to be in or have a, uh, a, a relationship with my wife that was going down the tubes. Uh, yes, it's very important. I think one of the things, too, is we, f we felt really early, especially when Lonnie came along, um, it was important to make it work so he could be there, even though he had to work, um, and tr that work meant traveling. But we, s we made a schedule, you know, and let him know exactly what was going on, when it was going on, as, especially after the kids got older and were involved in more things. Um, that schedule involved Larnell traveling maybe four days a week instead of seven days a week, um, making sure that he knew when things were happening at home, that if he didn't actually get to be there, which he was there most, a lot of the times, at least he could call and say, you know, wish him luck, uh, play your best, you know, that kind of a thing, or call after a game was over. And the kids really appreciated that. They really, you know, they felt that Daddy was there, even he, though he, he really was involved, wasn't. Right, he, he was involved be. in what was going on. And something else that he's done, I don't know whether you know this or not, but Larnell is a gadget man. I mean, <laughs> a gadget man. Don't tell everything. <laughs> <laughs> but communication has been Yo. really important to us. And he has, he's the... Um, what, what kind of gadgets? Oh, he's a ham operator, ham radio okay. operator. So he's electronics. The electronics. Mm -hmm. He's a computer. He's taught me almost everything I know about computers. <laughs> uh, would stay up all night long, do, you know, reading and, and learning about computers. So then he taught Lonnie and, and myself. But the communication, he's always made sure that we could reach him any place in the world that he was. And, I, and we appreciated that. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids knew that we could get daddy. If there was a problem that they thought mommy couldn't handle, <laughs> we could get daddy. And that, that's really yeah. comforting. You know, I think that, and that's something that he's done, made sure that it was just possible. comforting to the kids, it was comforting to you, wasn't very, it? Very, very I, mean, I, I get the sense that here's a busy man, here's a talented man, here's a man that's, that's got a lot of acclaim and fame and success, and yet you're, you've, you're excited about him and you're excited about him because you feel like he's excited about you and excited mm -hmm. about the kids yeah. and excited about home and right. excited about marriage. Right. It all, all goes together. <laughs> is, is that true? That's true. 
Are you excited about her? <laughs> you know, this coming December, we will celebrate 28 years of marriage, and uh, I'm... <laughs> Uh, that date is December the 19th for those of you who send gifts, but, uh, <laughs> and, and about midnight of the 19th, as I have done each year, each anniversary, I'm going to start talking into another year. Don't leave me now, baby. It's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, all right.